Kirk, Aaron Cox, alongside Coach Katie Pate uh, of a victorious uh, night tonight, Coach. Uh, a hard-fought win for you guys over Coker College, final score of 59-52. Uh, coming out of the gate, it was not a good game for you guys. Oh, you Lord fell no. behind early, and then it turned into a back-and-forth yeah. affair. But at the end of the <laughs> night, you guys hit some big shots, made some even bigger defensive stops, yeah. and you get a big conference win. Well, you know, I was just I was talking to, to the newspaper guy, and, and we were just saying how these games in February, the ones that on paper you look at and, you're, and you say, we've got, you know, this is one that we're going to win. Um, <laughs> Coker wants to do everything they can to disrupt that. You know, there's a, there's a log jam in the league right down there in the bottom, kind of that bottom four to five, and everybody's playing to get in for that that eighth spot in the conference tournament. And, and people, the coaches are looking at those numbers right now. So, um, you know, definitely a slow start. We had to really grind this one out. Um, highlighted by a couple a couple key players, of course, but um, a win is a win is a win. We'll take it, but there's some things we got to get better at. You played an awful lot of players tonight for you. Yeah. Normally you run a short <laughs> bench, know. but everybody was out there, uh, most notably Cassidy Joyner yep. with a lot of minutes, and she repaid yep. it coming up with 10-plus uh, points for you tonight. Absolutely. Um, really, really, really got, I have to commend Cassidy uh, for being ready to play. Uh, and making some very some great heart and hustle plays. You know, she hit a three, and then she ran back in transition defense and disrupted a transition play. Uh, just, just really proud of her to to continue to stay bought in. It's, it's very difficult. You know, we've got some some upperclassmen and some veteran seniors that are occupying a lot of that clock time. And for Cassidy to come in and let that go and just be a great player, uh, she was a difference maker for us tonight. No doubt about it. We needed every single one of her points. And we needed every single one of her minutes. So was there a reason one way or the other why so much of your bench did play a lot of minutes tonight, especially just, early? Just, uh, you know, we, we got into a little bit of foul trouble again with the inside play, but just you know, trying to mix things up just a little bit. Um, you know, we've, we, we give some certain looks during practice and, and uh, uh, just wanted to throw some, some different looks at it. You just, you know, Justice did a great job as usual, and, and we've got, we got to keep her, we got to keep her focused on taking that shot when she's open and not passing up those looks because she's very talented when she's catching, catching in stride. So, uh, you know, making the one advantage of moving Kendall in and having Justice stay out is we had the ability to switch all five positions on the floor. Gave us a little bit of size against a team that was a little bit, a little bit bigger on the on the inside when they went with uh, 34. Uh, so that the mismatch created wasn't as one as, as tough as if Justice would have gotten put off. So good job on Kendall stepping in, and, and same thing Morgan and Cassidy. But, uh, you know, Justice had some key plays for us as well. The pull-up jumper that she hit was was uh, was a very important basket. You get some really good post play tonight too. Romero and Robinson <laughs> yep. both giving you a double-double, yep. uh, 12 points and 11 boards for both of them, the exact sure. same stat line. And uh, both of them taking good shots, and it really within the flow yep. of the offense, neither one yep. of them seemed to really be forcing it tonight. Sure. You know, I think I think we did get a little bit heavy on the on the. Exterior side with Chelsea, I think she took a few jumpers uh, instead of realizing, hey, let's let's get one or two more passes. We'll get you the ball inside and uh, give you a really great high percentage look. And and uh, again, just really trying to stay patient. Uh, it, it's hard. I mean, Coker plays 40 minutes of zone defense. They played two possessions the entire game in man to man, and uh, uh, you know that's that's their mo. They do that to everybody. So um, you know, post players sometimes a fan. I know Chelsea loves it when she's got one on one matchups and not everybody's collapsing on her in the interior. Well, you mentioned uh, kind of the thinking, at least, about the conference tournament. I mean, it's only a few weeks away <laughs> sure. now, and obviously a big win for you guys now, putting you up from sixth to potentially fifth with a W yep. tonight. So, obviously, I was going to ask you the question, but you're already starting to look towards that. Sure, yeah. You know, and I think everybody, you, you start to you start to see who's playing who, who's got who left, and things like that. I know this. We are going to Carson Newman and playing the best offensive team in our conference, uh, it was a, a tricky finish the last time we had them here when we got them by a point. So I, if I know Mike Mincy and I know him well, he will have those players well prepped uh, as well as well motivated uh, for a little bit of vengeance up there in Jefferson City. Well, let's finish it up talking about you mentioned right at the start of the interview some things that you need to fix coming out of this game. Yep. Can you give me a couple? What sure. are some things on your list right now? I think one of the big things right away is a little bit of a little bit better spacing with our offense. Uh, you know, there's one offense in particular that we really like to run, that one four set where we've got that high post player and backside ducking. Felt like our high post flashes were a little bit too low tonight, really at the free throw line or just below the elbow. Doesn't allow us to make that duck in bounce pass on the backside as much because it's just too jammed up. So we're going to work a little bit on our spacing uh, in the next couple days. Able to pull out the win tonight. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you so much, Aaron. A 59-52 win for the women tonight over Coker College right here on the Bear Sports Network.